The five young women who were killed more than a week ago spoke about their grief. 27-year-old Derek Thompson is charged in their deaths, but community leaders want an independent investigator to see if law enforcement response played a role. Fox 9's Rob Wilson live at Darrell Farouk in Bloomington. Rob, these leaders calling for a ban also on high-speed pursuits. Yeah, in saying that, in this case, the state patrol said that they had not initiated a high-speed pursuit. They said the Council on American the Islamic Relations said uh, they've heard that, but they've heard some other conflicting information, too. So they want an independent investigation to provide some transparency and clarity. Well, the family and friends of those lost also took some time today to remind everybody of each of those lives. Siham was not only my baby sister, she was my best friend. And we confided in each other with everything. One by one, the family and friends of the five young women who lost their lives together in an instant bared the emotions of grief still so raw. Although her life was tragically cut short, the memories she left with us will never be forgotten. I and our families will forever love Salma. Allahu Akbar. Their funerals one week ago attended by more than a thousand people. But what remains important, they say, is to recognize them as unique individuals. You are on the path to be a phys physician's assistant, and I still look at your acceptance letter in disbelief that you're no longer here to pursue your dreams. Five young women all described as motivated and high achieving. She majored in health sciences because she always <clears throat> wanted to give back and help people who are in need. She, was always, she always wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. Sigal's spirit was filled with determination and a passion to make a difference in the world. 27-year-old Derek Thompson is now charged with 10 state felonies for the deaths, plus federal gun and drug charges, accused of going 95 miles an hour on 35W in a rented SUV, exiting at Lake Street and plowing into the young women's car. But the Council on American Islamic Relations is calling for the governor to appoint an independent investigator to look into law enforcement's role. To learn more about many of the conflicting information that has surfaced uh, in this case. The state patrol says Thompson was already going high speed and the trooper who clocked him was just trying to catch up to him, did not initiate a high speed chase. But Jelani Hussein says they've heard conflicting information. That will help us answer many of the questions that the family has and as a community we have. Yeah, again, asking the governor to have an outside investigator because they don't trust the BCA because of the state patrol's involvement here. Uh, also, they were raising concerns about the uh, video from Metro Transit that got leaked out showing the moment of the collision, wanting to look into how that was released into the public, which caused more trauma for the families. Live in Bloomington, Robles, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Rob.